Sir Abubakar Tafabaliwa was born December 1912. He was a Nigerian politician who served as the first and only Prime Minister of Nigeria upon independence. During his first few years in office as Prime Minister, Nigeria was a constitutional monarchy with Elizabeth II reigning as Queen of Nigeria till Nigeria became a republic in 1963. He was both a defender of northern special interests and an advocate of Nigerian reform and unity. This is the entrance to the tomb where Abubakar Tafabalewa was buried. This tomb is located in Bauchi State, Nigeria. If you are open to coming here to see for yourself, you have a tour guide. Our tour guide was very informative. He gave us all the necessary information and the history and the significance of each and every point we encountered. So we recommend and then first get from entrance signifying the child for educational background like Prime Minister and the tumor design to reflect the simplicity slab like Prime Minister which is now my honor and privilege in watching you most my honor thank you sir full darkness here signifying the hash Content the next Prime Minister together as colleagues for their effort to free Nigeria from colonial New York. And also the darkness signifying the mind for the vistos to the death of late Prime Minister. So this is the full meaning of darkness. Oh. No. The darkness that greets visitors at the tomb's entrance signifies the hardships faced in the fight to free Nigeria from the colonial administration. My guess the little light signifying a ray of hope in future the nation mm. to free from colonial administration. Yeah. But the second darkness signifying so good continues for independence. Oh. We cornered to the right and arrived at the second darkened hallway leading to the staircase that linked the resting place of the Prime Minister. There were other rays of light after we walked a few steps forward. Con darkness symbolizes Nigeria's continuous struggle for independence. Full brightness ahead depicts the achievement of Nigerian independence so in 1960. Yeah. Signifying the attendance of government in 1960. The subsequent election, and Abaka became the Prime Minister in 1957. Those are the two different steps, the rough one and the smooth one respectively. The rough one signifying the hardship by the people of Nigeria under the colonial administration. But the colonial government, they do everything directly, all which is for idea of people. What the smooth step signifying freedom and joint independence in 1960. So I'm going down, this one is more easier. Yeah. Taking the staircase down, we saw an Arabic inscription on the tombstone, first turn on the wall against the staircase. Truly, we are from Allah. And to him, we shall return. So now the slabs and the gaps signifying the crisis and civil disorder when Abakar was assassinated. The color and the wall signifying the different ethnic groups in Nigeria. And the late Prime Minister serves their interest to unite them at one nation. Mm. And the top remain a roof signifying the often mindedness of late Prime Minister and showing the simplicity life to the people of the Federation. Did the actual grave. Lesa Pakatfaapale was born in December 1912. He was born at Faapalewa. His father's name was Malaya Kubu. And Abakar was born to Aisha. 
He started elementary primary school in 1922 to 1925. Therefore, in 1925 to 1928, he attended Bochy Provision School. In 1928, he went to Kaduna Teaching Teaching College, where she was trained as a teacher. He backed to Bochy Provision School. During his teaching, he's more familiar on history, geography, mathematics, and English. In 1945, she went to London University, where she obtained a diploma in education. Back to country in 1946. In 1949, became a headmaster of former school, that is Bochi Provincial School. Mm. In 1950, she is the first educational officer in Bochi Province. Abaka was appointed to Bochi Native Authority as a senior councillor. She was appointed to Regional House Assembly in Kaduna, Fidentibo Province. Abaka was in politics in 1952, NC, 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 NC Action Group. In 1955, became a Minister of Works. From Minister of Works and first Minister of Transport in 1956. On September 9, 1957, Nigeria made the election. And Abakar became the first Prime Minister of Nigeria. In 1960, while Nigeria became independent, Abakar was humble, dedicated person who sacrificed for life for Nigeria. And she was assassinated on 15 January 1966. He left three wives and nineteen children. Mm. They let Abu Bakr die, not to let behind. They spent only one house and palm out by himself, which are the practical example to an ancient amulet. So they did the short biography. Thank you so much. Thank you. So this is where they actually buried him? Yes. This is the place. You know, they are making a normal grave. Oh. And then after that, they build it up and they put the slabs. So that is why the, you, you see the graves like this. So uh, this is the actual place where his mother is living. His mother? Yes, he's living. This is the actual <coughs> center of room that's making grave here. Oh. In the place where his mother is living. Oh. She's you still know, alive. was no, assassinated okay. when his mother is alive. Oh. And then the father of late Prime Minister was died when Abakar was poised. So mm. that is exactly history of the Prime Minister. Mm. Balewa's life symbolizes truism, as various accounts had it that he died leaving nothing behind, except the one house which was built by himself. Said in 1977 and commissioned in 1979, the entrance gate of the tomb was designed to signify the childhood and educational background of late Safawa Balewa. Born to the family of Yakubu Denzala in 1912 and had his basic education at a Quranic school in the city of Bauchi and proceeded to Katsina College, now known as Balewa College. 1933, where he finished schooling at the college, he returned home and started teaching at the Bauchi High School, where he became the principal in 1941. He added that some contribution and tokens were being accepted in the for the maintenance the of this tomb. Continue to maintain your place. Okay. Yes. Okay. How many children did you have? Yeah, yeah, nineteen. Like, uh, nineteen. But, uh, uh, five, uh, Fifteen are alive now. Four they are dead. And no one of his wives is alive. Mm -hmm. They are children. They are children. Fifteen yeah, are alive. Bachi. They are in some of them are in Bochi, some of them are uh, marriage women. Okay, boys and girls. What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Misfits okay. just did it. Nylon, cover five minutes. Whoa, we are too hot in the business. Woo. About to make a movie independent. Woo. Need new trucks. What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Misfits just did it. Woo. Nylon, cover five minutes. Whoa, we are too hot in the business. It's a very big place. How did they kill him? The, the big digger? Uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's a first military coup. Uh, ah, no, but uh, it's not like this. It's not the first military coup, like a major minor in the you know, as they will cut down. They are the leader of the coup. Mm. Uh, they are so they know who killed them? Yeah, they, they know it. And uh, there is nothing that can be done about it? I know they have, they have killed it also. Yeah, okay, they killed them too. Yes, yes, they are killed okay. them. 
And he died without having any property no, to leave for his children. No, no, he didn't have no, any amount. Only his house. So this, this school now, this ATBU now, is just having his name. The name after him. It's just his name. This is the exit. And apparently, it needs to be. So guys, this is the Tokai taking us to the museum where his belongings were kept and stored. So, you should go. So I can like this all this well. Oh, wow. It looks very cool. Oh. I think there's easy on this one. No video. I see them on the way to constitutional conference at London in 1957. This is Kano Airport. Mm -hmm. They want to go to London for. You can see Sir Abaka Tepa Abaliwa, one company in London, Inspection Ply Facilities, as a Prime Minister on the 12th September 1957. Sokoto and Chief of Abaliwa. Number? Mm. 500 Nera Note, 200 Nera Note, yeah. 5 Nera Note, 100 Para, Dennis Chikudo, Sadibe, and the Samuel Akinto Line. from the Western region. Inspector Ambassador during the Independent Ambassador of 1963. Father of Let Umaru Musa Eradu. You can see oh. Shemu Shagari from our present. Okay, we are doing documentary. Documentary, you can see him. Our tour guide was complaining yeah. of our camera and asking why we're taking so many pictures, but my oh my, we had to show and share this with you. I see when they used to walk. You can see him at the front. The nation and deliberation. Help of Queen Elizabeth. Abu Bakr introduces cabinet to get the Azakar and Malari killed many, many at least killed over 50 people. But who is the mastermind that's behind all this? You can see is this man was really smart and he really knew what he was doing and he really had the best interest of Nigerians at heart. Now Sokoto Abu Bakr retired and the Emir of Kano Sunus. There was another one before then. This is Abakar attend the wedding occasion for one his star of Mary Abakar. Kombocha Ahmedin Kari and his other mm -hmm. personal radio and the first Chris crude oil Chris. discovery in this uh, age and his bit count here and his personal ritual in 1930. You can see his television which Queen Elizabeth gave him during the Constitutional Conference of 1957. Television. Television. This is television. Yes. And his sword also gave him and his prayer mat here and his bed. Bed. And different awards. That three women one time advisor and poverty alleviation during the good luck dinner. This one should I noticed all his children had a specific and distinctive tribal mark. Robert Daniola and Mane so and his private secretary Bon Son, Bon Abu Bakar. You can see his my last encounter with my late father. This is the mother of the Prime Minister her three. Oh, yes. You can see British Prime, Prime Minister. This is Dr. Shatima Alumumbu. Wow. This is Dr. Hostin Bandi of Malawi, William Royal Rumo and uh, army taking over and the interview with the mother of the Prime Minister at the enormous population give us. But we have absolutely no aggressive party speaking. So apparently we are leaving already and based on our observation, the first tour guide that will take you to the actual tomb actually just we felt that it was a bit it was a bit wrapped a little but this second person was really detailed like he really broke down the information but cameras were not allowed and making videos were not allowed so we literally had to you know sneak in few clips for you guys to see and um, listen to what he had to say he had a lot of information and he had a lot to say generally so you guys can visit and see for yourself kindly like subscribe and yeah.